If you need to perform some minor editing to audio on your system, you can use the built-in audio editor, which is perfect for the job. Editing audio is a skill that can take a long time to master, and we won't be covering how to edit audio in this video, just how to access the tools you need in order to edit audio. So let's jump in. Here I have an interview that I've downloaded, and I'm going to click on the edit button to open the interview. Here we can see the waveform. You can use the mouse to zoom in or zoom out, and you can use the buttons down the side here to do the same thing. You can highlight sections of the web file or the media file, and you can then use the buttons along the top here to perform various different tasks. The most common thing you'll do is remove a piece of audio. So let's see how you would do that. Let's say you wanted to get rid of that particular part of the interview. You can highlight it and either press the delete key or click on the delete button. The audio has been removed. If you need to undo, you can always click on the undo button, which will restore the deleted section. It's also sometimes useful to extract parts from a media item. So let's say that this bit that we've highlighted, we wanted to uh, either export to another media item or to export to a file for use outside of Myriad. Highlight the bit you want to export and then click on the either the EF button, which is export file. And if you do that, you can choose where to save it to and what format. Or you can choose EM, which is export media, in which case you choose which media item to to put the audio in. So if I put this on 1312, that's been exported. You can, of course, copy and you can then paste as well. So you can paste in using the paste and you can also drop down and you can see we've got some of our options like paste mix, insert an entire media item, insert, uh, insert mix another media item. So you can use um, these options to uh, bring in other audio that you'd already got recorded into this audio or to, uh, to mix those, those audios together. You can also change volume very easily. Um, highlight the section you want, or if you double click, you can highlight the entire waveform. Then you can click on this button here to allow you to either normalize or you can just simply set the volume level in dBs. If you want to fade out, you can highlight the section and then click on the fade out button or indeed the fade in button. We also have a small amount of um, sound effects and other processing built into the system. So you can highlight a section and then if you drop this down, you can see we can add uh, telephone filters, echoes, um, chorus and flange, which is great if you want to disguise a voice or something. And you can also do pitch shifting, which allows you to change the pitch. You can reverse sections and you can delete sections. You can also insert silence if you need to. Another really handy tool is the ability to take multiple sections from a clip, add them to the pad and use the pad to mix that down. So to do that, switch to a dynamic layer that has the pad enabled like the default with pad. We'll cover the pad in more detail in a different video, but for now, I'm gonna find the interview I want to take some bits from. Click on edit. Make sure I'm on the editor tab. And I zoom in, find the bits I want to add to the pad. And then click on the EP button. Give it a name. Now I can scrub along for my next piece of the interview I want to keep. I think we'll add just one final of one. As you can see, those parts have now been extracted from the main interview and added to the pad. From here, we could play this, we could save it, or we could mix it down. So if I wanted to compile these into a single piece of on the media wall, go to the mix and send, mix down file, 
to media item, mix down to media item. Choose my target. And if I go to that on the media wall by jumping to it, here we can see is our 17 second piece that has been compiled from the sections I took from the interview. Hello and welcome to the Harvard Press Podcast. My name So hopefully that's giving you a flavor of some of the tools available via the editor tab in Edit Media.